Hi, this is Kevin Maneri, Senior Solutions Engineer at Phoenix Contact. In this video, I'd like to share with you a little bit about how the command list works. So for starters, we'll click on a button, basic object, a button, and we'll switch the command type to execute commands. And now we can choose if we want those commands to run on the release or to run when we press it. So that's if you click for the press and then when you release, which action do you want it to happen on? So usually it's common to do commands on release in case you accidentally touch your touch screen and then you can slide your finger off and not have it from the command. So command on release here, let's take a look. So here's the command list. Uh, from here, we can press add a new command. And here we have many different tabs for many different types of commands. Uh, most common, you're going to want to set a variable. So here you could set a variable, you can press these three dots, it opens up your variable window. And let's pretend I wanted to set I local variable and I want to set it and I'll set it to 15, 14, sure, and hit OK. OK, so now we've added that to the list. If I want to do something else, and let's say I want to set another variable, I can go again, new command, grab a different variable. Let's take tank level, and I can set it to a different value if I want to. And let me expand this so you can see my other options under the action here. So I can set it, I can reset it. So this means set it back to, to the zero state. Um, I can toggle it. I can strobe it. Strobe means uh, hold it for X amount of time. If I hit strobe, you see this strobe milliseconds is now available. So I can say, if I put 2000 here, I'm going to say hold this value for 2000 seconds. Um, so this is usually useful for a Boolean value, right? If I, if I wanted to toggle a bit and have it held after I've released for two seconds, use the strobe feature. Um, increase or decrease, that's great. If I want to launch a numeric pad, um, or an alphanumeric pad, swap the signs, make a positive or negative, and decimals, great, great, great. Um, the most common ones are going to be set, reset, toggle, strobe, uh, and move value. That one's useful too. So if I wanted to say, I want to take the value that's in tank level, and I want to put it into this other variable. Let's put it into, um, I don't know, some, a variable that's over here, this one. Would never make sense to do this with what these variables actually are, but I'm copying this value and moving it into this value is what that's saying. And I hit accept. So you can also see here, you can have a list. There's a reason it says it's a list. So I could also add a wait time and say, I want to do this, wait one second, and then do that. Uh, and you can have a list of different actions that you're taking. So here's, we're setting a value, we're moving, uh, copying a value over, we're waiting one second. Uh, and if I want to add another command, we've always explored so far is this variables options. So let's see what else we have. We have variables, screens. This is going to be very common and useful. In fact, this is how your navigation bar works down here. If you want to open a screen, you go to the screens here and you say, oh, I want to open data logger when I press this button as well. And the action is right now is open normal. So that's just going to open a screen like a regular screen change. But you have a lot of options here as well. You can say, hey, give me this as a pop-up window. If you have multiple monitors, if you're running on an IPC and you have multiple monitors, you can say, hey, I want to put this on monitor one, on monitor two, on monitor three. And you can configure that there as well. Um, you can print it if you want to do the print screens and captures and prints, captures and saves. So these grab your screenshots for you. Um, but these are for IPCs mostly, I would say. I don't, I, I'm not sure that these would work on a touch panel like a TP or a BTP. Um, so anyway, most common modal is pop-up and regular screen change right here. And based on what you select over here, some of these features may become available to you. But again, if you're just doing a regular screen change, just like this, now we have a screen change happening when we press this button also. So we're going to set these values, values, do all these things, wait a second, and then change our screen. Other options here, you can run scripts, right? So you can choose which script you want to run right here. And we're going to run it normally, or these other options for running it or unloading it. Um, you can pass parameters to your script right here also. Uh, you could also uh, log on to a user and uh, force them to be at least a certain level in order to log on. You can log on, log off, uh, edit user list we talk about in the users chapter. Uh, over here under reports and recipes, you can say, hey, I want my data logger and recipe. Uh, let's say this, this one that's being logged on time. What do I want to do? Uh, you can do a bunch of different options here as well. Now, if you had a recipe, you could say I want to activate my recipe or save my recipe or delete uh, my recipe. And so, yeah, lots of options available here on this data logger recipe piece, the report recipe piece here, that's saying that's invalid because I 
didn't select anything that would make sense. Um, if I go over to the system option, if I click on system, uh, here are a number of different actions here available also. So I could say, close down Visi Plus when I press a button or shut down my operating system if I press a button. Uh, so that, that's for if you're on the Win 3264 bit, you can reboot your system or actually shut down your system, press a button. Um, you can launch your app, an application. So you could say something like, I want to launch Microsoft Paint if you're on a 3264 system target. Um, launch a PDF viewer. Um, and yeah, you can see all these different options available to you as well. Show and hide the output window. That can be useful. I don't think that's available on, on CE panels though. Yeah, it's not letting me select it because in parentheses here, it says not available for CE targets. And this project is targeting a TP or a BTP, which are CE targets. There's my system options, uh, languages. So if I had multiple languages here, I can change which language. Uh, so I can have it change my language. If I press this button, I'm gonna switch it to German. Um, and yeah, uh, help if you have specific things you want to have here with pop-ups or tooltips. Tool uh, alarms, you can have things acknowledge all your alarms, reset all your alarms, or toggle whether the sound is enabled or not. And you could also launch and trigger specific events if you want to. So big picture summary. Most common things you're going to be doing with this is changing your screens, launching pop-up windows, and setting and changing values of your variable. Um, this command list is very important to get familiar with because you'll use this for, you can use this with your events, you can use this at startup commands, you can use it on any object. So we just did it on a button. I'm gonna hit okay. We just did this on a button. I want you to note, you can do this on a rectangle under execution advanced commands on click. When I click it, I'm going to run these commands. See that same interface? Uh, you can do it on even images. So if you want your, to make your images dynamic, and if you press an image, it does something. Execution advanced, commands on click. This image is launching an application. Let's see what it's doing. It's launching Microsoft Paint when you press this button. So that's the, the overview of the command list and, and the basic commands and how they work.